Hey, hey, and welcome to day three uh, in uh, our five days workshop of how to uh, lose endo belly and overcome endo bloat. And today is very important video because uh, I'm going to answer to one very, very, very uh, important question you might have. Why am I so bloated? And what to do about it? Because if you were like me, you probably uh, tried many, many diets and it's very likely they didn't work. <laughs> uh, you uh, tried the calorie uh, restriction and it didn't work. And probably you even try some fitness, you know, boot camps or some, you know, uh, weight, weight loss programs, which didn't work. And I'm going to tell you in this video why nothing worked. And it's going to just make sense in your head. <laughs> it will. And I really, really wish somebody had told me that before. And because that would actually save me a lot of money and a lot of my time and a lot of strange experiments I used to do with my body. So let's start. The number one cause of every weight related problem is insulin resistance. That Mine uh, means absolutely nothing for you, but after this video, you're going to know absolutely everything what you need to know. Okay, so stay with me. I made it very, very easy to understand. Insulin is like a key that opened the door uh, to your cell and allow, allow the fuel, for example, sugar, to enter the cells. So it looks exactly like this. Imagine. You've got the cell, you've got the uh, key, which is the insulin, and it's open the cells so all the nutrients, which you can see over there, can enter the cell, okay? This is like a key. If you consume too many things that trigger insulin, for example, sugar, and many, many of you are addicted <laughs> on sugar, and I used to be too, and it's a very, very tricky addiction. If you consume too much sugar, then your body will start to resist insulin, okay? It will start to resist taking insulin because it has too much of it, and it consider it to be toxic. You might notice that if you uh, live a long time and some uh, girls are living literally most of their lives without even making a break from the sugar. When was the last time you make a break from sugar, girl? Like, be honest with yourself. Well, when was it the last time you give up sugar, like for, for I don't know, a month, two, to see what's happened? Probably never. <laughs> Uh, I, when I first um, came to understanding like what is causing my blo bloating and what is the number one cause of me gaining weight, I, I was like mind blow. And you know, if your body consider um, to be toxic, you know, too much sugar, your body will resist and your body will resist through the bloating or your body will resist by trying to get rid of these toxins, you know, this too much sugar. For example, breaking down, like, you know, um, many girls have a problem with acne. It's because your body is reacting for the sugar, you know, it's trying to get this too much sugar, too much insulin out of your body. This is how your body is telling you. So what's happening if you consume too much sugar? The key won't open the cell and the cell can get the fuel inside. The cell cannot get the nutrient. So you see, we've got our cell. The key is not opening because it doesn't, you know, the cell won't let them <laughs> because it's cell consider it to be toxic. So what's happened? All the nutrients that's supposed to go inside your cell are going elsewhere and your cells are starving. That's why we've got the pandemic of the people who are literally obese, but, I, but are starving because they are not able to take any nutrients inside. I hope that makes sense, okay? So what is the normal sugar level? Normal sugar level is from 80 to 100 megagrams. It's like one tablespoon of sugar, one third 
to uh, uh, one tablespoon of sugar in one third of gallons of blood. Okay, so that's considered to be normal. Have a guess how much uh, tablespoons sugar a day consume average person who never make a break, never give their body a break from the sugar. Like, have a guess on top of your head. Give me a number. There you go. Average person consume 31 tablespoons of sugar per day. If you don't know how much is this, go to your kitchen, take a tablespoon, take the sugar and measure 31 tablespoon. And this is how much your body consumes the sugar every single day. Okay, does it look scary now? <laughs> I bet it does. So let me explain how does it uh, work out when it comes to weight. Look at that. This is insulin resistance. Okay, in uh, insulin resistance can cause so many uh, strange disorders and uh, is related uh, to many of them. Like for example, type two diabetes is caused by insulin resistant. PCOS, uh, atherosclerosis, dyslipedia, hypertension, obesity. Um, it uh, can uh, be uh, some rare disorders. Uh, insulin resistant can be caused by the medication. Uh, some medication can cause it. Uh, insulin resistant is linked to aging, premature aging. So if you're looking older than your real age, then uh, probably there is some insulin resistance over there and obesity, you know, storing the, storing the fat. So how does it work? Look at that. You've got insulin resistant that is caused by the lack of exercise so if you don't move your insulin you know uh, it's not gonna work properly uh, it's linked with abnormal fat and obesity lack of quality sleep it means like when you don't have a good quality sleep and i don't mean just like eight hours of sleep because sometimes you can have eight hours of sleep and the deep sleep level is just like one hour or one hour and a half you know the good quality sleep is the uh, sleep where the majority of it is in deep sleep because only in deep sleep we are healing our body Okay, uh, insulin resistance can be caused by the excess carb consumption because they turn into uh, sugar, <laughs> uh, chronic illness and inflammation. And here we are, we and the girls and the genetic uh, sus uh, susceptibility, my English, my English. <laughs> okay, so now you know what can cause the insulin resistance. So have a look at this vi vicious cycle we are stuck in, okay? You're feeling tired and hungry, then what you do? You eat food, okay? When you're eating a food, your body makes insulin. And when, you, when you're eating too much sweets, do you remember the key is not entering the cell? So the cell resisting the insulin, cells wouldn't let it in. So as the result, the sugar stores as a fat. And then because the cells are still hungry, then you feel tired and hungry. And then you eat food. And then your body make insulin. And then cell resist the insulin. You see, this is the vicious cycle that goes to absolutely nowhere. And can you fix that by uh, restricting the calories? Of course not. You're going to starve your body even further. Your body will thinking, what the hell? You know, cells are hungry because we are not feeding them. And she's, res she's restricting the calories. Like, what the hell is going on? Please help, you know? So you can biohack and fix insulin resistance with ketosis, okay? When your body goes into state of ketosis, then your body flip the switch. And this is what we'll be doing. And I'm going to tell you how exactly. Okay. So tomorrow I'm going to share 
the big how, step by step of how can you overcome this insulin resistance? How can you biohack it by using the natural pr uh, process of ketosis? What to do and what not to do and when, in, because there's the specific time of your menstrual cycle that you should be doing it. And this is specific time on your menstrual cycle when you, you cannot do it by any time, any shape or form, because if you do, you're going to put on weight even more. Okay. So I'm going to answer all these questions tomorrow. So for now, I hope you understand that you are storing the fat has nothing to do with, uh, if, you know, too much calories because it's very likely that your body is just resisting insulin and this can be fixed. So stay with me tomorrow because we are going to answer big how. I hope this video helped. Please let me know in the comment section below what did you get from this video? Uh, was it anything new and uh, how you doing? And I'm going to see you tomorrow. Love you.